Well, a very warm welcome to you um, to morning prayer on Thursday, the 29th of July. Uh, I hope all is well with you and um, that you have an exciting day ahead. Um, today we are remembering and celebrating the lesser festival, would you believe, of Mary, Martha and Lazarus, who are described as companions of our Lord. Um, and indeed, we know Jesus had several encounters with um, Mary, Martha and Lazarus, not least um, at the home of Mary and Martha. And um, also, or, or um, indeed, with Lazarus bringing him back to life. So you would expect our readings to include, um, to feature um, Martha, Mary and Lazarus. Uh, but no, uh, with our um, amazing uh, lectionary compilers, um, we don't have anything of the sort. Um, but we do have something from Psalm 37, which is very long. So um, I'm going to miss out half of it. So we'll have the first half of Psalm 37. And... Um, and an excerpt from James, the book of James, <clears throat> chapter four. Um, yes, excellent. Otherwise, I think we're set to go. Um, so um, we'll keep a moment of stillness and then um, I'll lead us through our morning prayer. Oh Lord, open our lips. Our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all, to you be praise and glory forever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation. May we rejoice in this day you have made. As we awake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will. That the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 37, the first half thereof. Fret not because of evildoers, be not jealous of those who do wrong, for they shall soon wither like grass and like the green herb fade away. Trust in the Lord and be doing good, dwell in the land and be nourished with truth. Let your delight be in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desire. Commit your way to the Lord and put your trust in him and he will bring it to pass. He will make your righteousness as clear as the light and your just dealing as the noonday. Be still before the Lord and wait for him. Do not fret over those that prosper as they follow their evil schemes. Refrain from anger and abandon wrath. Do not fret lest you be moved to do evil. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those who wait upon the Lord shall possess the land. Yet a little while, and the wicked shall be no more. You will search for their place and find them gone. But the lowly shall possess the land and shall delight in abundance of peace. The wicked plot against the righteous and gnash at them with their teeth. The Lord shall laugh at the wicked, for he sees that their day is coming. The wicked draw their sword and bend their bow to strike down the poor and needy, to slaughter those who walk in truth. Their sword shall go through their own heart and their bows shall be broken. The little that the righteous have is better than great, witch, uh, great riches of the wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. <clears throat> So to our New Testament reading taken from the letter of James, chapter 4, verses 1 to 12. Those conflicts and disputes among you, where do they come from? Do they not come from your cravings that are at war within you? 
you want something and do not have it, so you commit murder. And you covet something and cannot obtain it, so you engage in disputes and conflicts. You do not have because you do not ask. You ask and you do not receive because you ask wrongly, in order to spend what you get on your pleasures. Adulterers, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. Or do you suppose that it is for nothing that the scripture says God yearns jealously for the spirit that he has made to dwell within us? But he gives all the more grace. Therefore, it says God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Lament and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned into mourning and your joy into dejection. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will exalt you. Do not speak evil against one another, brothers and sisters. Whoever speaks evil against another or judges another speaks evil against the law and judges the law. But if you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law, but a judge. There is one lawgiver and judge who is able to save and to destroy. So who then are you to judge your neighbour? Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. <clears throat> I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through waters, I will be with you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. I have called you by name, you are mine. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. So, Heavenly Father, we turn to our prayers of intercession as we pray for the world and the church and the day before us. Heavenly Father, we thank you today for Lazarus and Martha and Mary. As we remember their encounters with Jesus. Lord, we remember. Jesus restoring the life of Lazarus recorded in John's gospel. Thank you for that reminder of Jesus power and identity. Thank you for the sign of just who he is. And Lord, we thank you for the witness of Martha and Mary <clears throat> quietly going about their witness in different ways. <clears throat> Lord, we recognise that at times we too operate in different ways. Sometimes the stillness of reflection, sometimes the busyness of activity. So, Lord, we pray that their examples may continue to inspire us. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord, we are asked to pray for local governments today, <clears throat> thanking you for those elected members who are there to serve us. So we thank you for those who represent us at uh, local level across our town. We thank you for our parish councils, the relationships that we share with our parish councils here in Staple Grove and Norton Fitzwarren. And we thank you for the good work that they do within our communities, the ways in which they engage with issues and do an awful lot of good. And we pray for their members, their leaders, that they will be equipped and enabled to continue to do so. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We're asked to pray for those who work with young or elderly people, recognising the challenges at both ends of life. And so pray especially at the moment for those engaged with young people, those not currently at school and needing in many cases to be occupied. Lord, we, we know that that brings its own pressures. So we do pray for <coughs> parents and grandparents and carers and all who look after children. We pray, Lord, that they will be kept safe. And we pray too for those at the other end of life. Those who are elderly, perhaps restricted in their physical abilities, even mental capacities for those who care for them, whether that be professionally or otherwise. We pray for hospices and home support. We pray that the strength of your presence would be apparent to them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We're asked today to pray for emergency and rescue organisations. Lord, we, we know in our town, we thank you for our hospital and we regularly see uh, ambulances uh, flying around the, uh, the town, <coughs> as well as uh, police cars and fire engines and so on and so forth. Lord, we thank you for those who work in our emergency services. We know that they do an enormous amount of work for good in the community. And without them, many people would suffer an awful lot more. So we pray that you would protect them, protect them from the abuse that sometimes sadly they receive and that you would energize and provide for them as they provide for us. And Lord, we remember too the, the coastal uh, services, lifeguards and uh, coastal rescue services, <clears throat> particularly active during these summer months, of course. We ask for your protection upon them too. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we do pray for the church, for our archbishops, Justin and Stephen, for our own bishop, Bishop Ruth, our archdeacon Simon, and for the Christian church across Taunton. Lord, we thank you for the different denominations that worship and witness to you here in our town. Thank you for the work that goes on in your name in so many different ways. We pray that we would be minded to work together. Lord, we thank you for the many chaplaincies that exist across our town. Lord, we pray for our own local ministry team here, looking forward as we are to worshipping on Sunday at the Lamas service in the evening in Northfield at six o'clock. Broomfield, I should say. Lord, we pray that that would be a time of blessing. We pray that it would be a time of strengthened relationships. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, as always, we bring before you those who are suffering at this time, whether that be through illness, physical or mental, or through grief. Lord, we pray that you would pour out the strength of your presence upon those who need it today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we do pray for the day that lies ahead of us. The plans and intentions that we have, the activities to which you will call us. We pray, Lord, that we may find time today to be like Martha and Mary, to be active when the time is right, 
and also to be quiet and reflective when the opportunity arises too. Lord, like them, we pray that we would be aware of your presence and the call upon us to serve you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so God, our Father, whose son enjoyed the love of his friends, Martha, Mary and Lazarus, learning, in argument and hospitality. May we so rejoice in your love that the world may come to know the depths of your wisdom, the wonder of your compassion and the power to bring life out of death through the merits of Jesus Christ, our friend and brother, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. So the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, really good to have you with me. Um, don't forget we have services um, this weekend, of course, um, and um, at St John's Staple Grove at eight o'clock um, and um, 10.30 all age service. Um, and um, there's uh, tea and coffee available at church in Staple Grove on um, Saturday morning from 10 o'clock and the Lichgate with um, Lichgate stall with various um, goodies available, um, edible and um, plants and things. Uh, always a good time. So do come along um, if you're able to. And um, we'd be um, we'd be delighted to see you. Go well and take care. <laughs>